Next up in the defensive ammo review for 380, we have Remington's Golden Sabre 102 grain brass jacketed hollow point. Uh, a fairly heavy for caliber load in the 380 auto. Our test weapon will be the Bodyguard 380, uh, firing through four layers of denim um, and into some water jugs. Um, it is about 23 degrees outside today, so we'll see how this round performs. Alright, looks like a decent shot, I guess. Um, the first jug appears to have went in. Second one as well. In and exited. Into the third jug. And... Appears to have exited that jug. We're going to fire it again while the water's draining. Another shot. Barely got it in the denim. <laughs> well, it appears to have went through three jugs and hit somewhere, but it definitely appears three jugs. Probably no expansion. I was able to find one of our golden sabers. Um, it had bounced off our backstop book and fell on the ground. Uh, apparent plugging of the hollow point cavity. That would be my definition of plugging. Full of denim. Um, so that leaves you to kind of ponder and I've had multiple problems with these bullets from Remington but for a quote unquote high performance jacket bullet um, according to their website for law enforcement <clears throat> and the armed civilian I I'm with the Remington. Remington's Golden Sabre 102 grain brass jacketed hollow point Boy, I had some high hopes for these. I was really hoping these would expand. Uh, I do like the heavier weight of this bullet. Um, we got zero expansion through denim on these two rounds. These were fired through bear jugs trying to get them to expand. And got kind of varying results. Um, one thing I did notice with all of them is we did get jacket and core separation. Um, I believe Remington is producing a new home defense line that is the same bullet but bonded. Um, I'm not sure if the results would vary any there.